In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to import a template uh, using all three versions of Toon Boom Harmony. The first thing we're going to do is go down to the library view, which normally starts off in the lower right hand corner when you start off the program. It might be behind the tool and layer properties, but it should be down there. And we're going to start in the folder area of that view. And we're actually not going to use the Harmony Essentials library. Uh, we're actually going to open up the folder that came with your downloaded tutorial. So I'm going to right click and open library. And mine happens to, go, happens to go right to that folder, but you should find your folder in your browser view. And I'm going to click on the Harmony Tutorials templates, and I'm going to select that folder. Now if I look in my library view, the folder is down there. And you'll notice a little lock on that. That is the that means that this folder is locked and that I can't alter the folder in any way. But if I right click and click on Write to Modify, I can now alter any of the folders inside of it or change their names. Uh, in this case, though, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to actually going to be taking a template out of it and putting it into my scene. And when removing a template and putting it into your scene, you can do it uh, a few ways. One way is to drag it directly to the timeline, and another way is to drag it to the camera view. In this case, I'm going to drag it to the timeline and make sure that it lands right above Mountain Bush. And there it goes. And if I scroll through it using the red ticker, I can see that the animation animates through and the hawk lands on the branch. And it should be lined up so that that hawk does land on that branch right there. And to view the animation in real time, I'm going to stop it on the last frame with the red ticker and click stop right here in my timeline view uh, toolbar so that the red, bar, red little, little red tab comes over and that's basically where the animation will stop. I'm actually going to tell it to loop and then play. And now I can see what my animation look like, looks like as it moves. And that is how you import a template.